exposing to extreme tests at Nürburgring. The group spent a whole month at the Suzuka circuit in the beginning phases of the advancement, where they led various assessments utilizing their test vehicle. Then, in February 1989, the team had the chance to ask famous F1 driver Ayrton Senna to drive their car. Senna had traveled to Japan to test a McLaren F1 car. I don't know I can truly offer you fitting guidance on a large-scale manufacturing vehicle, yet I feel it's somewhat delicate, said Senna, alluding to the vehicle's clear absence of unbending nature. Additionally, despite the fact that the vehicle was intended to be as rigid as a Porsche or Ferrari, Senna was able to detect minute differences that would have been well beyond the range of a typical driver. However, in light of that remark, the group raised its goals for unbending nature in April, going again to the test vehicle to guarantee their objective was met. The pick test site was to be West Germany's popular Nürburgring rapid race course. As the location of Honda's F1 debut, it was a memorable spot. The circuit had over 200 blind corners, a total length of 20.8 kilometers, and a change in elevation of 300 meters. Cars and drivers alike had a hard time navigating the steeply ascending and descending sections of track, lined with dense tree plantings on this extremely challenging circuit. As a result, it was anticipated that the course would reveal issues that they were unaware of in Japan. To them there could have been no more excellent climate where to test what they trusted would turn into the world's best sports car. The pick test site was to be West Germany's popular Nürburgring rapid race course. As the location of Honda's F1 debut, it was a memorable spot. The circuit had over 200 blind corners, a total length of 20.8 kilometers, and a change in elevation of 300 meters. Cars and drivers alike had a hard time navigating the steeply ascending and descending sections of track, lined with dense tree plantings on this extremely challenging circuit. As a result, it was anticipated that the course would reveal issues that they were unaware of in Japan. To them there could have been no more excellent climate where to test what they trusted would turn into the world's best sports car. ANSX running on the Nürburgring course in West Germany. On this course, the next generation sports car was put through its paces. The team was able to secure a garage and office in Mullenbach, a town just two kilometers from the circuit, with the assistance of Honda R&D Europe HRE. It was to be the first time a Japanese automaker would conduct long-term testing overseas with their new workshop setup. The team devised a series of tests to improve their car's rigidity, and the course provided an immediate setting. They were aware that on a course as challenging as the Nürburgring, even a minute delay in the vehicle's response to the driver's input would sever the connection between the driver and the vehicle, denying the driver the ability to accelerate appropriately. They discovered that the breakdown of that relationship was entirely due to the body's lack of rigidity. In the event of an issue that could not be fully communicated to the staff in Japan, the team on site was required to address the issue independently for any overseas test. Therefore, in West Germany, the design engineers in charge of the vehicle's various parts took turns sitting in the front seat with the test driver to evaluate the vehicle's performance. A solution would be developed right away if a problem was discovered. The team knew it was the only way to make the best car in the world, despite the fact that it was a marked departure from the norm. The test information taken nearby was quickly sent back to the Research and Development Center in Japan, where the numbers were taken care of into a PC for examination. At this stage, the best shape was chosen to get the most rigidity for the least amount of weight. As a result, the rigidity of the vehicle was increased by 50% in comparison to the value that was in place immediately prior to the West German tests. Thus, following a lot of time exertion, they had finally accomplished the degrees of dynamic execution and solace requested for an elite sports car. The perfect integration of man and machine had been achieved by the team. At the 81st Chicago Auto Show in February 1989, Throngs of media and consumers surrounded Honda's new NSX, a bright red sports car. Note, in fact, the NSX was introduced as an automobile of the Acura brand, the upscale sales channel in the United States.
the advancement code name NSX addressed new, sports car, and obscure world, X being the numerical image for an obscure worth. It was the first version of a new product that Honda hoped would captivate car enthusiasts all over the world. The brilliant red NSX drew hordes of energetic watchers at the Chicago Car Expo in February 1989. The cutting-edge sports car. It was to be a thrilling time in Honda's set of experiences. The business began a series of test drives in Japan in June 1989, eventually expanding to the United States and Europe. The American test drives were held at California's Laguna Seca circuit and on broad streets. Because of its reputation for extreme difficulty, Laguna Seca was the right choice because it would put the car's body and suspension to the test. After completing that portion of the journey, the team proceeded to West Germany, where they took part in test drives near the Nürburgring, the circuit that had been crucial to the development of the vehicle. People also praised the NSX's stability and extremely comfortable accommodations at each drive. American writers, specifically, gave noteworthy remarks, for example, this vehicle will change the norm for present-day sportscas, and every one of the vehicles we as of now have are currently history. These were strong words to be sure, conveying their regard for the new vehicle and its exceptionally trend-setting innovations. The individuals from the advancement group basically could never have been more joyful. Uehara stated, a car is a machine that operates through a direct link with the driver and passenger. The degree to which a vehicle can excite its driver is a measure of its quality. The NSX marked the beginning of a new era in sports cars. It switched the view of automakers up the world who learned they could accomplish both execution and solace in a solitary vehicle. A particular plant, the fantasy comes to fruition. The development of Honda's Saitama plant's Tachijai plant, at present the Tachijai manufacturing plant's Tokenezua plant, was finished in May 1990 as an office devoted to the creation of the new, aluminum-bodied sports car. The aluminum spot welding machine stood out among all of the factory's facilities and equipment, which were designed specifically for the NSX. Aluminum is a material that is heat-sensitive, highly conductive, and thicker than steel when sheeted. Welding requires more current because of these factors. Consequently, a standard machine would not be adequate for that operation. Since no organization at the time fabricated a spot welding machine that could oblige an aluminum part the size of a vehicle body, a different undertaking was run at Honda designing to foster a unique machine, and this was culminated alongside the body's turn of events. Even when it came to assigning employees to the plant, Honda tried something new. In order to find skilled engineers who wanted to help build the NSX, it advertised open positions throughout the company, including departments of every branch and factory. Since only 25 units were produced per day, operators would need to focus on handcrafted levels of detail. On the NSX line, operators would make full use of their own senses as a means of calibration, in contrast to mass production systems, where properly calibrated machinery churns out several lots of products in a short amount of time. Additionally, because the aluminum materials would need to be finished by hand throughout, every member of the production team would need skills that were appropriate for the additional responsibilities. In fact, the purpose of the new plant was to make the most of the available human resources. Likewise, the faculty would have need over their machines, not the other way around. For instance, not a single conveyor belt was visible. On the other hand, a 360-degree rotary welding table was provided so that the operator could work in comfort, without having to crawl under the vehicle that was being built. Each of the facility's additional systems was unique. In fact, the plant is still very different from the typical facility for mass production. Tachijai plant held its open house service in August 1990. Nabuhiko Kawamoto, the new president of Honda Motor, stated, The NSX is a next-generation car that incorporates many unique, proprietary technologies. Subsequently, it addresses the fulfillment of one more dream for the Honda Association. And that dream will be developed at Tachijai Plant. 
In September 1990, one day before the start of sales at Verno dealerships across the nation, a Japanese press conference was held about the new sports car. Due to the successful promotion of the prototype vehicle, the code name NSX had been adopted as the official model name, NSX. However, prior to the launch, orders had already begun to pour in, and the automobile was soon such a success that buyers would have to wait up to three years for their very own dream vehicles. NSX, a steady development. Honda Engine's NSX Designing Group coordinated an occasion for NSX proprietors in June 1991. The purpose of the event was to provide the owners with an opportunity to comprehend their automobile's true capabilities and to assist them in enjoying it safely. However, the NSX's creators wanted to keep improving it. This event continues to this day at the Suzuka Circuit and Twin Ring Motegi as evidence of that commitment. The development staff and guest instructors gave lectures on the fundamentals of the car and the best ways to control it on the road during the two-day curriculum. The participants even get to drive their cars around the track. During the program, the clients were given chances to talk with the improvement staff and different clients, and to impart their insights. The automobile manufacturers benefited from the event, because they were able to see things from the perspective of the customer rather than as trained engineers. The solicitations and different remarks acquired through these projects were reflected in the kind or adaptation of the NSX, delivered in 1992. Additionally, the NSX now replaces the I.